Elongated skulls have been unearthed in many places on Earth, linked to ancient cultures globally. To this day, artificial practices of accomplishing this striking deformation can be witnessed among remote tribes in certain parts of the world. Thanks to this, and indeed the remains that have been found and studied previously, we not only now understand how this elongation is artificially accomplished, but also anomalies found on some specific and rather special specimens. For example, if one exhumes the remains of the ancient civilization of the Han culture, one is able to establish many things regarding the past technique. The individual skull which endured said practice. This can often be done by tracking the cranial napping found upon all human skulls. However, what makes others so intriguing, for example the Paracas skulls or the lost believed stolen skulls of Malta, this napping that one would expect to see is either absent or, if present, not of a deformed nature, suggesting that the previous owners of these craniums had this naturally from birth, leading to many hypothesizing that they were either a now lost subspecies or possibly an ancient alien visitor. If we track the provenance of these beings, one can also argue this increased cranial mass as a possible contributing factor in increased intelligence. Many of the ancient pharaohs of Egypt exhibit this, and indeed the skulls found at the ruins in Malta with its astonishing acoustic properties. Their burials evidence of them once being valued members of these societies, but also the possible contributors to the advancements in technology and architecture found at these sites. The most unusual, however, those with no evidence of binding, have been found at many prehistoric sites, such as the so-called alien mines along the banks of Lake Superior. Lloyd Pye has also made a lucrative business promoting the discovery of a curious humanoid skull he found a few years ago. Although not dismissed as a deformity, many still strongly believe it to be that of a human-alien hybrid. Regardless of the artificial binding which still occurs, questions remain. Why do some of these skulls appear to have been natural? Why is the ancient practice undertaken? Who inspired it? Why were the exquisite skulls of Malta stolen? Are we really looking at the remains of ancient alien visitors? It is an area of historical research which we find very intriguing.